McAvoy do Ho Choi, the majority of his pro wins have come by first round knockout, something his opponent is acutely aware of coming in here tonight. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Nice punch there by Chor. Right on the button. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Tags it with the overhand. Sidekick is true. Nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Straight right, he misses. Oh, that's a nice strike. Get your range back. Get out of there. Let's go. Move those feet. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Back kick there. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, and yet another knee. Oh! Yeah, he hurts real bad. He still hurts. Oh, that's big. Miss with that jab attempt there. The Korean Superboy gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Sweet punch. Oh, double leg takedown is good. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He's got to start throwing down. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Quick jab. Elbow there blocked by Choi. Oh. Hands high, hands high. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kiss. Under a minute now to go round one. Overhand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Good uppercut for him there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Straight right is there. So he's really starting to put together some picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect.
spectacular. You are outworking him everywhere. Your pace, your cardio is fantastic. He is dead. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, doing work with the jab. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Both guys appeared to land there. Keep your hands up. Out of range with that one. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Chor. There's another one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Champ, yeah. He's sharp with that double jab now. Work, guys. Oh, a nice straight there by the Korean Super Bowl. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Nice kick. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice jab. Change of the position. And he is back up to his feet. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Two minutes now to go in round two. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. And a cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Overhand punch to the head. Just work. Nice strike. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. He's cut. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And that's been and kicked out. It's home up top. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Unable to connect it. He's in the clinch now. Under a minute to go now in round two. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. It looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. 
He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Solid kick lands here. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Right. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damaging blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close this time. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just missed with the leg kick. He's cut. Give him the elbow. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, that overhand big weapon form throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And there's that jab. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse. And it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Ooh, that rear naked choke is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Choi's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Good job defensively to block that punch. Gets to the single collar tie. Beautiful kick lands there. Well, he is clearly faded in this one. I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. 
Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure it doesn't land. Lands a quick jab. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Under a minute now to go. That was a slick transition. Joy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice punch to the head. 20 seconds left. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Final seconds of round three. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, man, listen, you got him that round. You really hurt him at the end of that round. He is still going to be hurt. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there and fit. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was Ready that fight. big strike to the head Ready. that landed that Good. put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big shots being landed on both sides here. That's how you control the fight. He's fighting behind the jab. And there's that inside leg kick. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, now you see some business. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, with authority, the body. Big land there. Fighting from both sides, lands in left hand. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Establishing the jab. Look at the torso on the oh, gets in to beat his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to be feeling everything that he wants to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you, like, rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean, you want to do less as possible. You want to just sit there and watch. The reality is, though, he's got some work in front of him after this fight. And so does the cut, man. We are bloodied and battered here in the octagon. All 
unable to connect with a right hook. Under two minutes now to go. Good punch, Lance. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight... How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Real quick leg kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Devastating uppercut. Under a minute now to go in this one. Perfect execution on that team. Joy gets hit with a kick. And now they are throwing both sides of conviction. It got checked. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Finds his range with the jab. 20 seconds to go. Nice straight right lance. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing it these training? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Straight right is there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. End this fight. End this. Headshot. Bang. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Effective with the jab. Oh, misses with the jab. There's that sidekick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? 
Choi gets absolutely punished by that head kick. He blocks the shot. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Oh, nice. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got, oh, how about the ankle pick there? Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working, go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. Then. Boy, you gotta keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. Get the ball here. Joy gets up, he is back on the feet. Look at to go in the fight. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Oh, nice. Nice sidekick. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, right into Mount. Making all these shots count. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. With a winner by unanimous decision, and...